different weight and stuff. A person goes in an elevator So a person goes in an elevator at third floor and goes all the way to the 25th floor. Uh, their regular weight is 192 pounds. Uh, let's say their uh, elevator's acceleration or deceleration is uh, at the same rate. The elevator accelerates decelerates at a rate of, uh, let's say, something like 6 feet per second squared. OK? So tell me what the person's uh, apparent weight will be at the three stages of this ride. When you first start from the third floor, it needs to pick up speed, right, to, to start going up. So the first stage is that picking up speed stage. Then, then, then the elevator goes at constant speed, if it's a good elevator. It should maintain a certain constant speed. And then at the end, what does it need to do? It needs to decelerate, stop, right? So accelerate, constant speed, decelerate. What is the apparent weight of the person in those three stages? That's my question. Stages is a better word. And when I'm asking apparent weight, what's that the code word for? What am I asking for? Normal force. Normal force. You're, you're good. You're learning. So stage one. You're going to have to speed up, right? Accelerate upward. So you have your weight is mg, and the ground has to push up on you with a normal force n, and your acceleration is up, right? So when you first get in the elevator, elevator picks up speed going up. You, feel, you should feel heavier than what your normal weight is, right? It's going to have to push up on you. So. In this case, the forces are only in the uh, y direction. So some of the forces in the y direction is equal to ma. So the normal force is up. The mg is down equals to ma. And the normal force is what we're solving for. The mg is the person's weight. Now in this case, Again, the, the person's weight is given as 192 pounds, and that is the person's weight, right? It's not mass. So this is 192. And the mass of the person, we can convert from pounds to slugs, 192 divided by 32, right? That's probably uh, 6. I did it so that it's a perfect uh, six, uh, 6 slugs. So this is six slugs. The acceleration actually is also six, right? 
So six times six here. This is also six. So the normal force is going to be six times six. Uh, that's 36. 192 plus 36. Hundred twenty-eight pounds. So if you were sitting on a scale, your the scale will read two hundred and twenty-eight pounds. There. Okay. And uh, how about during the second stage, constant velocity? Okay, once it attains a certain velocity, the elevator just keeps going up at the same velocity, right? The, you still have an mg, you still have a normal force. The ground still has to support you. So the normal force doesn't go to zero, but they're equal, aren't they? The normal force is equal to your weight. And acceleration is equal to zero. And then stage three, The acceleration is down. The acceleration is down, and it's uh, the acceleration is equal to negative uh, negative uh, what is it six? Now there's two ways to approach this, and let me show you both, and then let me show you the way I would do it. One way is to say n minus mg equals ma, n we don't know, mg is equal to uh, 192, and then this one is equal to 6 times negative 6. The acceleration is negative 6, right? And the normal force is equal to uh, 192 minus 36, which equals 156 pounds. 156 pounds. That's one way of s setting it up. The way I prefer is not this. The way I would do this is this.